to a short crash course on how to write numbers in standard form. Now you can see here my first example. I'm hopefully going to get across the point of doing this. Okay, if you were to put these digits uh, or these large numbers, uh, 5 million and something times 6 million and something, into your calculator, and I'll give you time to do that if you will, if you pause the video, give yourself time to do that, um, you will actually find that you get an answer that comes out like this. And you've probably seen this in the past, things like this coming out of your calculator. And maybe you already know what that means, but we're going to discuss it. In my calculator, it comes out as this. In other calculators, it might be those first digits again, times 10 to the power of 13. Now, hopefully you understand why calculators do this. It's because there's not enough room, okay? There's not enough space in the display to actually um, to display all of those digits, okay? So this is called standard form, and it's when you've got a number times by 10 to the power of 13. We're gonna look in a bit more detail now. So for instance, let's take some very simple examples. Um, we can work these out anyway. 10 to the power one is 10 times two, that would be 20. Now that isn't something that would that calculator would put into standard form because it's only a small number. But I just want to get across sort of logic of this is that we've got two with one zero. And here we've got 100 times two, which is 200. So two and two zeros and a thousand times two. So two and three zeros. And you kind of get the picture here. Okay, so we've got 200,000 and two million. Okay, so when it came to, whoops, two commas. When it came to this one here, we've actually just got five and then we've got 500, and then we've got uh, nine zeros after it, okay? So um, so five with 11 zeros after it, okay? So that's a very straightforward way. So that would obviously, you know, your calculator would probably opt for that answer instead of writing that in case it didn't fit. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. So here we've got four with six zeros, six, four million. Here we've got 300, two zeros. Here we've got um, 700,000. And here we've got 8,000. Okay, so we get the idea. Um, if we're taking the number then, putting it back into standard form, going the other way, okay, well, this one would be seven times by 10 to the power of, let's count the zeros, it would be four. And this one would be four times 10 to the power of three. And this one would be two times 10 to the power of two. And it's just a case of counting zeros, isn't it? Three, six, seven. Okay, so I've managed to put all those numbers, those you know, straightforward um, powers of uh, sorry, multiples of ten, into standard form. Now, what about something like three thousand five hundred? Now, this is where the golden rule of standard form comes in because some people might say thirty-five times by. Okay, I know, I know, some people would tell me this. They see two zeros and think, oh, it's thirty-five times ten to the power of two. Now, obviously that, if we work that out, it is 3,500. However, this is not in standard form. And that's because the golden rule of standard form, standard index form, is that actually this first number here has to lie between the values of um, one and 10, okay? And it can be obviously equal to one as well, but it can't be equal to 10. All right, and then B can be, B can actually belong to any real number. Um, sorry, I should say, no, not any real number. Any integer, sorry about that, integer. Okay, B can be any integer, positive or negative. We'll get onto negative soon. Okay, so if it were this, if this were the case, then it would be, well, it's 3.5 then. We wouldn't put 35 because 35 is out of this range. Okay, you have to be 3.5 to get the digits in. And then we would sort of count the five as one of the zeros, if you like, because this is three and a half thousand, and this is three and a half, and a thousand, as we know, is 10 to the power of three. So if we sort of think about it as anything after the decimal place in the number, okay, count. So the five counts and the two zeros. Okay, let's go and look at some more examples. So in this example, um, the number between one and 10 would be 2.7. Okay, and as we discussed, the seven sort of counts in, in the number in the sort of the number that is ten that ten is raised to the power of. So we've got one, two, three, four, so it's four. Okay, this one is gonna be five point four times ten to the power of maybe you're beating me to it here, six. 
Okay, so it's 5.4 million because 10 to the power of 6 is a million. We've got 6.8 times 10 to the power of, what, 5. We've got 7.2 times 10 to the power of 3. And then we've got 8.3 times by 10 to the power of 3, 6, 9. Okay. All right. So perhaps you'd like to have your own turn. I mean, feel free to pause the video, have a go. I will catch you up once you've unpaused it, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the answers in. 8.4 times 10 to the power of 6. We had 4.9 times 10 to the power of 4. We've got 5.8 times 10 to the power of 3. We've got 6.6, .6, sorry, I'll try that a bit neater. 6.6 .6 times by 10 to the power of 5. And we've got, well, this one, seven point, remember, it has to be between one and 10. So it's going to be actually three decimal places here, 7.812. And as I mentioned, anything else is a decimal place. So the 812, counting my sort of counting up of the, the digits, the, the zeros, I could say, times 10 to the power of nine. Okay, in that case. All right. Okay. Um, I could go the other way. Okay, so let's think about this. Seven and eight. Let's put it back into real numbers. Now I've got an 8 there and it's to the power of 5. Remember the 8 sort of counts it, so I need four more zeros. Okay, so that would be 780,000. I've got 3, 2, and then I've got two more zeros, right? 1, 2, 3. I've got 1, 9, and 0. Okay, think about it. 1.9 times 100. Yeah, it's 190. A bit less than 200. Um, we've got six, eight, and I've got six more zeros, 68 million. Um, and then I've got seven, seven, two, or the seven and two. So I need a two digits and I need six more zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 772,000, uh, 772 million. Okay. All right. Again, you might like to pause the video. Uh, have a go. I will catch you up. Feel free to pause now. Um, what am I doing? Three, seven, one. Try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, five, six, seven. Yep. Um, five, five. One, two, three. Um, four, nine, two, zero. That'll be nine, nine, one. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five zeros to add. And then I've got eight, three, and I've got five zeros to add. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm leaving this here. I mean, obviously, feel free to pause. Uh, the answers are after this. Feel free to pause now, have a go. And I will have the answers later after this next slide. Okay. If you're ready for, for standard form in tiny num for tiny numbers, keep going. Okay. So we've got now standard form for tiny numbers. Now we're going to investigate this. So we know, because we're experts now, this is 2,000, this is 200, this is 20. Uh, what's this then? If we're dividing by 10 each time, it's got to be 2. That means that 10 to the power of 0 equals 1. And actually anything, if I call it k, anything to the power of 0 is actually 1. You weren't already aware of that. Okay, so I'm dividing by 10 to go from 1 to the next. The answer is I decrease the power of 10 by one, um, oh, sorry, divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10, continue the pattern. And what do we get? We get two divided by 10, which is 0 0.2. This one would be 0 0.02, 0 0.002. Okay, now let's look at the link between the power and what's going on. Well, here I've got one zero before the two. Here I've got two zeros before the two. Here I've got three zeros before the two. Hopefully you can see what's going on and we can have a go at some examples. So here I've got to the minus two, 0 0.0, two, num two zeros before that and give this case five, 0 0.000, 0, 0, four zeros before the six. Um, 0 0.008, okay, 0 0.5 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, okay, hopefully straightforward. A few to have a go at. Now this actually, again, I've got 0 0.000, it's not to be confused with the first examples, okay, all we have to do at this point 
The two isn't counted in the zeros here, just because it's after the decimal place, we just stick 72 on the end. Okay, it's as easy as that. Eight, three, um, 0 0.064, 0 0.96, and 0 0.1234573. Okay, and that is standard form for tiny numbers. Okay, for those tiny, tiny, tiny numbers that still don't fit on the calculator display because there's too many zeros going on. Okay, feel free to have a go um, at this one. So this one, putting them back into standard form and it's just 10 to the power. Now, how many zeros have I got before the five, two, one? I've got minus four. I've got 6.3, and remember it's the golden rule of standard form still happens here, is that the number can only be between one and 10. Um, minus two, I've got 9.2 times 10 to the negative one. I've got 8.88 times 10 to the power of negative four. And I've got 2.13 times 10 to the power of negative three. Hopefully you can see how easy this topic is once you know what you're doing. Okay, now there are some more questions there. I'm leaving them there for you to pause the video and have a go at, and I will reveal the answers for the final few seconds of the video. If you've enjoyed this, it has been a real crash course here, um, then please do subscribe to the channel. It helps others to find me, and it does motivate me too to see some responses, see some feedback. So I hope that's been really helpful.